welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Bethel. Thank you so much for joining. And if you are a subscriber, welcome back, my beautiful people. So today I thought I would give you guys another episode of Life With B. We are doing a vlog. Everything is opening up in London. We are slowly coming out of the lockdown. So seeing as salons and things like that are starting to open up, I thought I would take you guys around and we would spend a week together. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. For those of you who do not know, Skillshare is an amazing online community which has thousands and thousands of courses where you can learn and develop new skills or improve on new crafts and things that you already have going on at the moment. We all know right now that in the world of TikTok and stories on Instagram, everybody's trying to make the coolest videos. So I've really been loving the classes this week that they've got on video production and how to make videos for Instagram. I want you guys to be able to use Skillshare as well. So there is a link below. The first 1000 people that click on that link in the description will get a free trial of the Skillshare premium membership. So make sure you don't miss out. Hurry up, click that link and get to exploring. So without further ado, let's get into the vlog. Hope you enjoy. Good morning. It is six o'clock in the morning. Marv is still asleep, so I am semi whispering. But the world is opening up today. The world is opening up today, which means that I am going back into the office for the first time in a year, which is absolutely insane. Um, it feels so weird to be waking up at this time. Um, but I thought I would vlog and I thought I would take you guys along with me. So my cab is almost here to take me to the station. So let's go. So let me take off my mask. I am on my way in. Sorry if the camera is a little bit shaky. Um, the journey, I don't think I will get used to this morning rush. Honestly, life at home for the past year has been so cool that this whole rush, not getting a seat, trains being packed, all that palaver. It's interesting. But anyways, about to go into work. I'm obviously not gonna vlog while I'm at work because none of your business, but I'm about to grab some coffee and get this day started. Thank you so much. Awesome, thank you. Yes, please. Thank you so much. Just finished work. My face is practically all melted off. I'm tired. This work from home life, for those of you guys that are still working from home, just count your blessings, count your blessings. But yeah, time to go home. I'll be honest, I'm not usually one to treat myself, but I've had a great couple of months and I've achieved a lot of things that I've wanted to and I've had some great wins. So after work, I thought I would pop into the YSL store and treat myself to a YSL card holder. I love the brand and I've been eyeing this card holder for a while. I ended up going with the black embossed leather card case with gold hardware. Thank you so Thank much, you. I appreciate it. Hey there beautiful people, so I'm back from having my manicure and my pedicure, it felt so good. Marv came as well, he had a pedicure. You guys know, over the lockdown, I was queen of press on nails, had enough, I had enough. So I'm so glad that the salons are open. I'll insert like a clip so that you can see my nails a little bit better because you can't really see the design that I got, but they did a really, really good job. Um, I ran a few errands after that. I came home, filmed some content, which is why I've got some makeup on. Um, and I'm just chilling at the moment. I am addicted, sorry to say, to Grey's Anatomy. This show, Shonda Rhimes, I don't, I'll show you guys, but I don't know what it is about this show and the storyline, 
but it is just so gripping. Like if you've watched this show, then let me know. But yeah, I'm like, I've been watching it since last year and I think I'm like season 16, season 17, season 15, I'm season 15, but the storyline is incredible. And for some strange reason, I'm not grossed out by like the blood and stuff like that, which typically I would be. But anyways, um, so I'm just chilling for now. I'm gonna finish watching the rest of this episode. I need to actually pause it because it's just playing in the background. Um, so I'm gonna finish watching an episode of Grey's and then I'm doing a deep, deep clean out of my wardrobe. I don't really remember the last time I cleaned out my wardrobe. And when I did, I felt like I still kept a lot of stuff, just holding on to it, like, oh, maybe one day I'll wear it, or maybe this will be good for a vacation. And it's just not working for me. There's just, I walk into my wardrobe and I feel like I've got nothing to wear because a lot of the stuff is just being kept and I don't like it. So I'm gonna do a huge clean out. I'm gonna try and sell as much stuff as I can because I have a ton of stuff that I've never worn before or really have only worn a couple of times. Um, and me and Marv want to go shopping sometime next week. Um, so I want to try and clear out everything prior so that I know what I want to get. Also, I hate shopping, like with passion. I hate online shopping. I hate in-store shopping. Getting items is nice, but the actual process of getting there, I find really annoying and it makes me feel a little bit anxious. So I always have kind of said like, oh, like one day when I have the money for it, I'll just get a personal shopper and they can just get me stuff. So Marv surprised me. I'll um, insert a little clip, but he basically told me that our good friend Michael was coming by the house. So I was like, oh, okay, cool, fine. We'll have somebody coming by later on today. Um, lo and behold, Marv went and got me a personal shopper. So um, this young lady is a stylist and she basically has gone away and done all of the hard work for me. So she has literally sent me the longest email with all of these links to various different items. So some of the stuff I'm gonna go and have a look at in person and some of the rest of the stuff um, I'm just gonna order online. But it has made the experience so much, because for me, I just want to get the clothes and move on. I don't enjoy the process of looking for stuff. It's just tiring. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to revamping a whole new wardrobe. Also, I want to buy a new wardrobe. Um, so I think I'm going to go with Pax, um, which is a brand from Ikea. Um, so I will show you guys how it works. So hopefully you can see this okay. So this is what um, the Pax kind of wardrobes look like. So they're pretty plain, but you can kind of build them and customize them into like whatever you need. So whether you've got like drawers, hanging space. So they actually have like this prototype where you can build it. And the great thing is it shows you the exact measurements. So I've measured the area that I want our, our new wardrobe to go in. And you can literally like, these are the frames, you can choose the doors that you want, any handles, any drawers, um, and then you literally just drag and drop. So let's say if I want a bar, hopefully this will work with one hand, maybe not. So yeah, you literally just take it and just drag it into position and then it should just stay there, but I'm doing it with one hand, so it's a bit hard. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to build it to how I want it to be for us, um, and then I'm gonna order that. So yeah, I'm gonna finish watching this episode of Grey's, and then I'm going to go next door and clear out my entire wardrobe, put stuff that needs to go in the bin, stuff for charity, and stuff that I'm gonna sell. Actually, I will take you guys next door now because since the last time you guys saw my bedroom, which was in my bedroom uh, transformation video, I've changed a couple of things around. So actually, let me show you that first and then I'll come back and watch Grace. So this is my desk. So this is the new makeup stand that I was talking to you guys about. So if you guys watched my bedroom video, you will know that previously I was keeping my makeup in here, which is currently a mess, so we're not gonna open that. Um, but I just ended up throwing away so much stuff. So literally now it's only the stuff that I use. So I've got my powders in here, um, all of my foundations. I've tried new, um, two new ones recently, this NARS foundation. This thing is so bomb. Like, I wear it in the colour Macau. To be honest, I could go down a shade. Um, and then also this Too Faced 
Born This Way and I wear it in the colour, um, if it will focus, Butter Pecan. Um, but yeah, so it's just nice and clean. I literally clean through all of my lip glosses. I've got a couple that are missing. The rest of my brushes are um, being washed, so that's that. Oh, actually, also, this um, diary is from, I'm gonna put the Instagram name here, from Penny. Um, but this brand, like if you're looking for a good diary or some stationery or anything like that definitely check it out i'll put the link in the description but each month has like this really nice affirmation and it's just got the most beautiful like illustrations throughout so yeah i've been really loving organizing this and then the other update is initially i had my perfumes that were on this shelf but i wanted to use these for my bags so instead i got this really nice marble tray um from amazon again i'll put all of the links in the description if you guys want also i'm thinking i don't know i'm thinking about doing a perfume haul for you guys so if you do want a perfume haul then give this video a thumbs up but yeah it's this really nice marble tray with um just this kind of like gold handle so those are kind of like the changes for now i still need to get a um some artwork to go here but yeah this is the new deck setup and i really like it so i just took a quick break from cleaning my wardrobe and i just made myself a really quick iced coffee and realized i haven't actually shown you guys the new coffee station so we bought a an espresso um, machine i literally picked up some uh, new coffee pods this is like the little coffee stand or coffee pod stand that we've got and it kind of like rotates and it's got all our different coffee flavors in there so i picked up some caramel creme brulee and then um i'm not going to try and say that but these are some of the ones that marv likes but yeah i've been really loving it it's great for iced coffees or hot coffees i've become a coffee drinker over the lockdown but um yeah about to have this iced coffee and finish cleaning up the rest of the room. I finished clearing up. I've put everything in the living room. So these um, little hooks are the ones that go over the door that I had in my bedroom. Um, so yeah, all of this stuff is the stuff that I'm selling. I've got literally like this dress I've only worn twice. This dress is from Zara and it's literally brand new. Um, this like little jumpsuit here um was from my honeymoon and i never wore it so all of this stuff that is behind me i am selling on vintage so i need to sit down now make a vintage account and put all of that stuff up so make sure you're following me on my instagram account um i'll have it up on the screen because that's where i'll be putting up all of the links and then in the corridor i have got a bunch of um like just bags and bags and bags of stuff that needs to be thrown out. I did a whole deep clean, so I am so happy. I feel like now I'm ready to just revamp the whole wardrobe. Um, I need to actually finish ordering the PAX wardrobe because I didn't do that earlier. And then yeah, we were all spring cleaned. I have been craving injera for the longest. So tonight we are having an Eritrean date night at home. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. <laughs> this is your favorite. This one from this. This was from Hammer Restaurant, which is in Finsbury Park. It's my favorite. So for those of you who don't know, this is injera. So this is like the traditional bread, and then you basically just eat it with different stews. So this is called furfur, which is basically like some meat and basically this bread all broken up into a sauce or um, lamb. Okay. This is like a lamb stew, and then this is like lentils, but oh, it's really good. You can confirm. It's good stuff. Where are we off to? <laughs> I'm taking a shot then. We made it to Westfield Stratford. Baby's here looking good. <laughs> it's been a while since we've been out. So I am typically not very good when it comes to shopping. So that's why I've got Mark here. So yeah. Let's get to buying some stuffs. First, I need a Starbucks there.
over island. Marv's trying on some stuff. <laughs> What's wrong with him? <laughs> you make me sick. <laughs> but I just, I can't. What is it? Smile by your eyes? Yeah, eyebrows up or something. And then stop smiling. Yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> Marv's found some nice stuff. Let's have a look. The thing with men, it's so easy to shop for you guys. It's just everything fits. Look at him, just dancing away. The struggles that women go through to buy clothes. I need you guys to see this. I was so confused thinking, why is this queue so long? It's for Primark. Primark is there. This is, yeah, that's insane. Alrighty, guess who's not gonna be going to Primark today? Cause we don't have time for queue up. Hey. Getting dark. Last shot when Zara. Shattered. Absolutely shattered. You had your turn downstairs. This is um, my quick one. I have not eaten a we, single thing all day. I've had a Starbucks. Do you know the most annoying thing as well? Can't sit down. <laughs> you actually reminded me. So if I take away, that's long. Unless there might be someone with outdoor seating. Uh, Maybe. If we go outside, yeah. You, you satisfied? We've literally been to three, <laughs> three shops. So no. But all these bags though. I'm so tired. <laughs> Good morning. So yesterday, once we came back from shopping, I wasn't gonna vlog. Um, we were crazy tired having been out the whole day. And then I had church in the evening and I had a couple of meetings. So I thought I would just show you guys everything. This morning, I've got <laughs> all of the bags here. Honest to God, I think this is the most shopping, hands down, I have ever done in one go. If you're like me, I'm not the typical girl that likes to shop like, yeah, I've always been like that since a kid. If you're like that, let me know in the comments. But most likely I wouldn't have bought all of this stuff had I gone out by myself. But because Marv was with me, he'd pull out stuff for me and he'd be like, oh, get it. Or I'd be choosing between two items and he'd be like, just get both. Um, but I'm glad because like I said earlier when I was talking to you guys about my wardrobe, I just need to revamp everything. Um, I'll be selling all of the other stuff later on this weekend. Um, but also a couple of items have also come. So I ordered something from House of CB um, and some stuff from Ego and some stuff from River Island prior to us going and it all arrived, which is really good. But now that I'm seeing everything, I don't know. I feel like filming a haul of just all the items that I got because it's a lot. I've never really done any fashion or any, any of that kind of content, but hey, if you do want that, let me know in the comments and give this video a thumbs up. And potentially, potentially, I might film a haul for you guys um, because there is a lot of stuff. But I figured I'd show you guys a few bits now just so that you guys can see what I've got. So let me prop you guys down and then we'll do that. So the first thing actually was some jewellery. So I'm super simple when it comes to jewellery. Typically, if it's not like my wedding bands or something that's like real gold or silver, I won't wear it. But I really wanted to get some kind of like costume jewellery. So I'm hoping this will focus and you'll be able to see. But these, oh, come on, stay in focus. But these cute rings were from River Island and they came in a pack. Um, and then... I also picked up these really cute gold um, earrings. They're like rose gold and they've got kind of like fake diamantes along them. Um, and then also this really cute gold necklace with like a little cross. And like I said, typically I don't really have costume jewelry, but I just thought, hey, let me just pick up some little cute pieces. Um, and then I popped into Morphe and I got this setting spray, this stuff, is amazing it comes out like a deodorant like it sprays like a mist i don't know if you guys will be able to see but it's just it's really 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 nice and it does wonders for setting your makeup um and i'd run out so i picked up another one of these um and then i also thought i would try out their beauty blenders um so i picked up one of these as well and then also just a blending brush. I really like their brushes. If you are on the hunt for some good quality brushes that are just really cheap and affordable, they have really good ones. So that was the stuff I got from Morphe and from River Island in terms of like the little jewelry pieces. Um, 
And then another thing is I love to journal, but recently I haven't been the best at it. Um, and I feel like if you have like a really nice notebook or a journal, you're more likely to do that. So I bought this really cute journal um, and it's just lined on the inside. So this was 12 pounds from Paper Chase um, and it's got like a really nice kind of like textured material, a bit of ASMR for you guys. Um, and then I've also got this notebook, which is a really pretty kind of sheen. And it, this is more of like a hardcover um, and it kind of snaps open and it's got lined paper as well. So I picked up these two. So hopefully moving forward, I'll be journaling more, writing more. So I'll probably use one as a journal um, and the other one will probably be more of like a prayer journal or a study journal, something that I can use as part of like my morning or evening devotion time. Um, so I'll figure out which one those are, but yeah, I, I, I love Paper Chase. So I'm glad I picked up some new journals. What else should I show you guys? I'm trying to decide so I can keep some of the stuff for the book. I'll show you guys some boots stuff. Um, so I have recently started to get into wigs. So I wanted to get some paddle brushes and I found this one from Tresemme, which I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see, but the bristles, like it's got the normal paddle brush bristles, but then it's got like the thicker bristles that you would get from like a slick brush. Um, and then I picked up just another one from Babyliss. I think that's how you say it, Babyliss, Babyliss. Um, and then, I picked up another beauty blender. I just want to try out a lot of cheap ones and just see which ones I like the best. So this one was actually from Super Drag. It wasn't from um, Boots. And then more brushes. Okay, this is the NYX um, blending brush. When I tell you this brush, I first heard about it because of Jackie Aina. This brush is amazing. It's 14 pounds. Um, it's from NYX. I'll list some of this stuff in the description box if I can um, in case any of you guys are interested But this I absolutely love and I've got one so I picked up a second one um, And then the second thing I hope I can say this this is niacinamide um, And again, I don't know if this is gonna focus Is it gonna focus? Probably not. Anyways, so this is from the ink key list um, And it's a serum and it's supposed to be really good for um, Sort of any kind of like redness or blemishes or hyperpigmentation that you might have. Um, and I know a couple of brands have got niacinamide serums that are a lot more expensive. I thought I'd go for a cheaper one just to kind of see how I like it and see how my skin kind of takes to it. So that's that. And then another thing which I've been wanting to try for the longest that um, Melissa's Wardrobe on Instagram always raves about is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. So I picked up one of these. It's a small bottle, it's two ounces. Um, but it's supposed to be, oh, dropped it. It's supposed to be really good um, for dry skin. So me and my husband will be trying this out to see how we like it. Um, and then I just picked up some bits from, you always need wet wipes. I always have these in my bag, so that's that. Um, and then I'm really annoyed because my favorite mascara is from Maybelline. I tend not to wear um, lashes at all, really. Um, so I love a good mascara, but they didn't have the one that I always like, and I've used it for years, so I really hope they haven't discontinued it. But for now, I picked up this Lash Sensational one from Maybelline, um, and then they had an offer where you get like three items for something. So I picked up a brow gel, which I've actually never used a brow gel before. Um, so we will see, it's got like a little, brush and you kind of just brush it into your brows so I'll see how that goes and then I picked up a gloss from there which okay it has hyaluronic acid inside it which I didn't know very interesting in the color topaz which is number nine and it's this really nice kind of bronzy color so I'm hoping that will look really nice on so those are the bits that I got from boots um and then from actually I'll open the ego stuff with you guys as well so, spring is coming, summer is coming, so I wanted some cute, like, sandals, slides, things that I can just throw on. So I, I haven't actually seen these, so I'm opening these up with you guys. Oh, okay, these are cute. So, these are the slippers. So they're square front, which is something new for me, but it's a really nice tan colour. The quality of these feels really good. Um, and I'm a size 5. And these were really cheap, I can't remember how much these were but I think they were like 12 or 14 pounds no more than 15 pounds for sure so that was the first one that I got and 
And then the second one is just like a really nice ruched white sandal. And one thing that I really like about Ego is that this their, the actual sandal is really like cushiony. So it doesn't hurt your feet when you wear sandals for a long time. Um, but yeah, these are really pretty. I think that's it. I think that's enough. Everything else will wait until we do the haul. I'm probably gonna do my makeup and actually film that today. If you'd like that, give this video a thumbs up. But that is it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will definitely be doing more vlogs in the future. Stay tuned for this haul that will be coming out sometime in the next couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, until next time, bye.